Runcy, come back. Runcy came to visit us. Now he's going out. Come here, because Princess is barking. Runcy, come back. You want to go outside? He probably comes to tell me he has to go outside. Okay, let's go outside. Let's go. You want to go outside? She probably has to go outside, too. Let's go outside. Come on. Oh, wow. This is all Janie's stuff. She has a lot of stuff in here. Oops, my bra. Don't put my bra on. Don't put my bra on display. Okay, come on. Let's go outside. Who wants to go outside? Who wants to go? Who wants to go? Look, Runcy wants to go. Little Runcy. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Rocky, do you want to go too? Come on, Runcy. Where are you going? Oh, he ran back in my room. Come here. Oh, wow. I guess she wa he wants to go out through the front. You want to go out through the front, Princess? Come on. Let's go through the front. Okay, we're going, up, we're going through the front. They can't make up their mind. Runcy, are you going to go out through the front? Come on. Who wants to go? Rocky? Does Rocky want to go? <laughs> Look at Runcy can't make up his mind. He can't run over there. Come on, Runcy. He went in my room. Runcy, you are lost your mind. Runcy, come on. <laughs> he lost his mind. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. Oh, wow. The lights. Let me get these lights on. Ooh. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going outside. And this light keeps flashing off and on. I don't know why Runcy doesn't want to come out. Runcy! Come on, Bobo! Runcy! Come on, there you go! Come on! Come on! It's okay! Princess isn't gonna bite you. Come on! Come on, it's okay! No, he doesn't look. He's just sitting there. Runcy! Come on, what are you doing? He can't make up his mind. Alright, I don't know what he's doing. I might have to pick him up. Stay. You need to go to the bathroom. I'll come back for you. Go go to the bathroom. Go. Go to the bathroom. I'll come back for you. The light. This light goes off and on. I guess that's how it is. Because we have surveillance over here. Francie, come on, boo-boo. Francie. Francie. I might have to pick him up. All right. You stay. And then I'll... No, she's not going to want to stay. I don't want to stay outside by herself. She pushes the door open to get back in, and I just locked it because she, she has to go to the bathroom. Come on, Rudsy, you got to go to the bathroom. Come on. Don't you want to go to the bathroom? He wanted to go, and now he just can't make up his mind. Rudsy, should I pick him up? Yeah, should I pick him up? Come on, Rudsy. Now he doesn't want to. Oh, well. No, I just, I was, I, yeah, I had him on a video thing. I was, he was going to go outside and then he kept running back and forth. The yeah, the lights are on. I guess he didn't know what he wanted. He don't want to go. These doors. Let's shut these doors. It's like check away. That's jam. Oh, well, I don't know. He can't make up his mind. <sighs> I want to sit on the patio. Come on, Boo Boo. Come on. What are you? <laughs> He's looking at the thing. What are you doing? He's making me laugh. He's playing hide and seek. He, he put his little head through the thing and then he went back. Rancy, come on. Now I don't know where he went. He can't make up his mind. Uh, you better have gone to the bathroom. We're going to be out here. I thought I had put, yeah, I put, the, I thought I put the light on him. This one goes off and on. Oh, I didn't. Hold on. Okay, hold on. No, come on. We're going outside, Boo Boo. We're going outside. There it is. There's the light. Come on, Boo Boo. We're going outside. Princess. Now she ran back in. Come on, Boo Boo. We're going outside. We're going to chill out here for a minute. Wow. There she goes. Sorry. <laughs> My killer dog. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> this is peaceful. It's it's not even like hot weather like it is in Vegas. I don't even plan. I don't even, I didn't want to go back until like it was starting to get cold weather. And then I got to get like a suite or something to stay in. I got to find a, a spot. I'm just done with these roommates. 
I only got one coworker that I would roommate with, and that's Paul, but I have my daughters too, so um, I'm working on it. There's a place up the street from my job, and he's the only one that I, I would roommate with because I don't, I don't know how other people are, you know, to live with them, but I've lived with Paul before. He's, the, he's like the coolest roommate I have. And he's responsible, pays bills and stuff. It's just he got screwed over living over there. And they um, gave him an eviction, so it was like a nightmare for him, you know. But um, there's like second chance apartment complexes too Um, because he had a bunch of other bad roommates that weren't paying, I guess, or I don't know what happened. I I was off and on, but I always paid when I lived there. I just, I minded my own business. I stayed in the room. Me and Mario shared a room, and they let me come back at one point, and that was cool because... Jimmy ruined one of my places for me by trying to bring his daughter and her stupid boyfriend that was abusing me. So I just, I can't believe that, you know, people just didn't leave well enough alone. I already had a roommate. Everything was fine. He was going to bring his daughter to live there until all these other people tried to move in and make us lose our housing, you know, because I told him it was just going to be platonic after a while because I don't do the friends of benefits, you know, for long. I just... It was just random, and then um, he was going to be helping me with my rent, and then, you know, Jimmy tried to bring his daughter and all kinds of drama to my place. And I think he paid that guy to do all that stuff to me because he's just, like, a hater sometimes. Like, But he did pay half my rent. I had the one guy, and I had uh, Jimmy. It was like they paid, he paid half my rent, and so did the other guy, you know, but – it ended up messing me over at that place. And they said I could get another um, Emerald suite, but it has to be a different one. So I could still go to a different Emerald suite because I, I agreed to just walk out of my own place. They said, if I walk out, I wouldn't get an eviction. So people will screw you over. That's why I was like, I'm done with all these fake friends. And I checked him on some of the stuff he had did to me. And, um, I remember one time having a phone charger disappear, you know, just small stuff like that, that people don't think that, you know, like that they'll, they'll like take your stuff like without you knowing it. I mean, you know, and you do know, cause it's like, you know what you came in there with. So people are just shysters and it's like, I'm sick of these fake friends, you know, and I've known him for 20 years. I never thought he would do me greasy after knowing him for that long. And then he did. He was so salty that I really I don't know, because that's narcissism. You know, narcissists, like, one minute they want you, one minute they don't, and then it's your fault, and everything's your fault, and all the stuff. So I'm not I'm not dating no more narcissist people. It's like, get, get out of here. Get get out with that shit. Um, but, yeah, I'm having a good night on the porch, so. Hey, Boobaloo, what are you doing? It's easier just to, you know, marry food or get a dog. All right, uh, like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Um, Shower Ramon, my Texas vacation.